in today's video, we are going to be doing this inner border effect here in Elemental. Now, this is quite an interesting design because you do have the border and then you have this inner border style with this glowing effect going around. You can change the color completely in this tutorial. We're going to show you that and it isn't hard to implement at all. Now, for those of you who don't want to follow along and just want to download a complete template, in the description of this video, there's going to be a link. It's going to take you to this page on my website. Here you can just go and download the complete thing and I'll show you how to install it real quick. So once you've downloaded the zip file, all you have to do is extract the contents. And this is the template over here. The other is a PDF. And let me just show you how to put it into Elementor. So here in the Elementor page builder, we're going to click on this add template. The library pop-up appears. And what we're looking for is this import template icon. We click that and we have this window over here. Then all you have to do is take that template file, drag it across into this window and let go. Over here, you just say continue. And the template you're looking for is this first ever animated inner border. Say insert. And there you go. You have now got the complete template. To edit the colors and the speed and that of this is very easy. So if we go open up the container where the cards are and we open it up, the card border strip, which is this piece that's going around over here. We go to advanced settings and in custom CSS, there's the code and we have the control variables on the top. So the speed, if you want to speed it up, if you want to have a one second, it'll do one second there, no worries. It does take decimal points as well. So 1.8, it'll do it just fine. And if you want the color to anything, it'll take any hex code or you can actually just type out a color as well. So I just went with yellow and now you can see that it's got this yellow effect. Let me just slow it down quick. Now you can see it properly. So this one's yellow, the rest is still white. So each one of these cards you can set to different speeds. Now for everyone else who wants to actually build this, let me show you how to make this effect. So today I'm going to be building this slightly different than what I normally do. I thought I'd just mix things up just a little bit. So we're going to start this off with our container. So we click on the plus icon, we're choosing Flexbox, and we're choosing this one right over here. The settings of this, we're gonna make sure it's full width, making sure that it's 100% width. The min height, VH, gonna set this to 100. Then the direction, we're gonna change it to horizontal and justify contents we want it in the center. Now the gaps over here, I'm gonna set this to 10. For the background, it doesn't really matter what it is. So I'm gonna go to style, click classic maybe choose an image i think i'll go with that one over there and then i'm just going to make it a little bit darker so i'll go to background overlay and just make it a little bit darker so choose black and just pump it up just a little bit okay so now we're done with the container inside this we're going to add our first card so we're going to click on the plus sign we're going to take the container widget and put it in now this particular container is going to be this border that you see here and not the inner glowing one. So what I'm gonna do before I change settings here is on the right hand side in this navigator, I'm gonna rename this to card. If you don't have this, then the icon is this one over here that'll open up that navigator. Now for the settings of this, let's go and put in a background. So I'm gonna go to style, the background top. I think I'm gonna be doing gradient. And then just like I had done in this example here, then the first color, I am going to choose maybe this sort of color green. It really doesn't matter. It's just your design choice. Then the second color, I'm going to choose this sort of blue. That looks fine. Then the angle, I think I want to go from the top left corner. So I'm going to rotate it to maybe about, about 150 degrees. That should be fine. And then I'm going to keep it linear. Then as I go down to border, I'm going to give this a border radius. So as you saw over here, there's this whole border radius. So I'm going to put this to maybe 10 pixels. Now, if you want, you can add a border shadow here. So it will offset off the actual page. I'm going to do that over here. It's totally your design choice. For the color, I'm going to put it to about a 75 black and the vertical, I'll add 10 to that. Okay, so now we're happy with that. Let's go to advanced and give a thickness to that outer border. So to do that, we go to padding. And I'm just going to say five all around. So you can see the thickness over here in this example. It was five pixels. You can make this thinner and thicker. It's totally up to you. But in this tutorial, we're going with five pixels. Then while I'm over here, I might as well just put the self align to center. Okay, so the final thing before we add anything to this card, under layout, very importantly, if we go to additional options, we're going to put the overflow to hidden. So the effect stays within the card itself. And that's pretty much all the settings that we need to do for this container. So now we're going to add the container that's going to be doing this effect right over here. So 
In the editor, click the plus sign, take the container, put it in. And then I'm gonna rename this to the animated strip. It doesn't matter what name you give it, it's just so that when you are editing this later on, you know exactly what is for what. Then there's not many settings I'm gonna be doing over here. So the actual color, I'm just gonna set this to black. And then the border radius, I'm also gonna say that this is a 10. And then if we go to advanced, I'm also gonna give this a padding of five, and that's gonna give that thickness of this space over here we can add more or less completely up to you but in the tutorial again just going with five then while i'm here i'm also going to self-align this to the center and then the final thing we have to do over here before we move on to the inner stuff is again we go over to layout we go over to advanced options and then we say the overflow is hidden on this one as well and that's all the settings that we really need now something that i do want to do is just make sure that it goes right to the edge here because because it isn't right now so if i click on my card I must just make sure that the layout of the actual card, this colored section here, is at full width. The black will actually go right to the corner. So if you're just doing this for one actual card and not having a whole bunch of them, this will definitely help. So we're just going to have that done. Okay, so now inside this container, we are going to add two. The one is going to be for the content and one is going to be a control for the actual glow. So. If we click on the plus sign, I'm going to go drag the container widget, put it in. And then this one, I'm just going to duplicate. So now the name of this first one, I'm going to rename this to glow. And then the second one, I'm just going to say content. Now for the settings of the glow container, we don't actually have to do much. But what we do have to do is if we go to advanced, we have to give this a custom CSS class name. And the name we need to put in here is the gradient border, just like that. Then for the settings of the content container, we can make sure that it's full width. Then width, we can just save it at 100%. For the style, you can put whatever colors you want. So you don't have to put it at the same as the borders like I did here. So you can change it up. But for this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the outer borders colors and I'm going to put it right over here for the background. So if I click on the card and the style, here are those colors. So I'm just going to click on this first color, copy it, click on the content. Make sure I'm on the gradient and paste it as the first color. Go back up to card, copy the second color, back to content, paste the second color, and then I'm gonna put it in the same direction. So go back up to card, copy the 150, go to gradient and paste the 150. So now it'll follow the same direction as the actual outer border. Now, once we're done with that, we are gonna go over to advanced and the padding here, I'm just going to give it a bit of padding here. So about 10 pixels is pretty fun. And that's pretty much it. So we are going to be putting in the content here inside the content container. I'm going to hit the heading widget, the text widget, and the button. So click the plus sign, get the heading widget, put it in there. Plus sign, text editor widget, put it in there. And plus sign again, and get the button. For the heading, I'm just going to put it into the center and put it to white. I'm going to do the same thing for the text. I'm going to click on that text center white and the button under style center text color can be white background disappears border type solid say three pixels with a border radius of 50 and I'm going to change it up on hover so I'm going to click hover text color can say be black background color is white and border stays white so it has that sort of effect now the difference that i'm going to be doing over here is actually normally i just put in percentages of how big the card should be but a lot of people are asking me to actually add spaces so if you like a percentage way please do it that way for this tutorial i'm changing it up i'm just going to put some spaces so i'm going to click on this plus sign get the spacer widget put it above the heading then i'm going to duplicate it and i'm going to take the second one to below the button and then for the actual space i'm going to say 150 and the top one i'm going to do the same just going to add 150 so this will be the actual card size here so if that's not your design style totally cool quite surprisingly quite a few people were asking me to do the space at the top so i'm just doing that in this tutorial okay so now that we're done with that we're going to put in the code so in the description of this video, that's going to take you to a reference page on my website. So here's that page over here. If we scroll down, here's the code that we are going to be using. So we're just going to copy this. We're going to go back into the editor and the animated strip, not the card or any other ones, but the animated strip, we're going to go to advanced and we're going to paste that code 
in the custom CSS here. Okay, so now that we have the code in place, one thing that I want to add to this in the container here for the content, so if I click on the content container, under style, I must also just give this a border radius of 10, so it follows the whole design there. So now that's the inner border radius there. There's the border radius of the animated one, and then there's the border radius of the outer edge. So now that we have everything in place, we are going to duplicate this card. So duplicate it how many times you need. For here in this example, I'm going to duplicate it twice. So duplicate and duplicate. Now we have the three cards. Now, in order to actually show the effect, the final touch that we have to do is if we go to the main container and we go to advanced, here under the Z index, all we have to do is say one. And there we go. There's all our different animations working. So the same thing as what I had said earlier, if you wanted to actually customize it. So I'm going to select this first card and then the animated strip in advanced. If I wanted to change anything, here it is. So if the color, I wanted it to be, say, red, there you can see that the color is red going around. And if I wanted it to be, say, slower, I can add it's slower and then you can see so another cool thing that you could do is actually set the different rotation speeds differently and it'll do a whole nice effect there as well so you can really go to town with those type of settings so i'm gonna put it to five yes this does accept hex code so you can add any hex you want there right here i'm just gonna say what and that's pretty much everything that you need to know for this really and it's something unique again you're welcome I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. That stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.